Hi, this is Alexis McKee. Today is May 13th, 2013, and I am here to review the book Morgan J by Suzanne Collins, the third and final book in the trilogy. In this book, Katniss Everdeen continues her struggle against the Capitol. PETA is rescued from the Capitol's hands and heads down his long road to recovery. During some missions to the Capitol, some unfortunate events happen for Katniss and her fellow crew members. She realizes how far into the deal of rebellion she is and that every move counts. She also realizes the cost of lives that must be given. Katniss Everdeen is a young woman who was chosen in the first Hunger Games, along with fellow tribute Peta Malark. Katniss has long wavy brown hair and gray eyes. Peta, on the other hand, is rather buff with blonde hair and gray eyes also. Ever since they together threatened to commit suicide with berries in the games, the capital hates them. They are now on a journey they never asked for. Peter refuses to let the capital make him into someone he's not. Katniss is very stubborn and does not want to cooperate to get things back on track. She understands the importance of her actions, but does not know how to react. The author's writing style may be one of the reasons this book is so great. I quote, Fire is catching, and if we burn, you burn with us, Katniss. Each sentence gives you excitement, suspense, and feeling. My personal favorite part of the book is when Katniss, Peta, and Gail are in the basement of the shop. While Katniss is trying to sleep, she overhears Peta and Gail talking about which one of them she loves and whom she can't live without. My least favorite part of the book, however, is when Katniss is locked in the training center room while she is on trial for shooting coin instead of snow. It leads me on to believe that the ending of this book will not be good, and unlike most of the book, this part will not be as dramatic as others. My opinion is that many readers will love this story. The plot is almost realistic to what could happen, though highly unlikely. The author's writing style allows us to connect with the readers and get emotionally attached. I was able to come to this conclusion out of my own experience. I got lost in the book for hours at a time. Guaranteed to love this book if you love suspense. So, if you want to read a really good book about war and love, then read Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This is Alexis saying happy reading.